All right, we're gonna start this one off where I finished last. I'm gonna finish cleaning this up. I usually use paper towels for this, but I don't have any. So we're just gonna use like a rag. Get ourselves some mother's polish and just coat that inside and out. Get a little dollop. And we're just gonna coat the ring and make sure we get it all inside too. Oh yeah. Might have got a little too much polish. <laughs> Better to have too much than not enough, right? All right, then we're just going to let this sit for a couple minutes. Set that down right here. Then we're going to work on something really cool. Y'all want to see something really cool? Tap the screen. Let's get up to 500 likes. <laughs> and then I'll show you the cool thing we're going to make. It's going to be cool. I promise. It's going to be real cool. Hello, hello. I wonder. All right, so this is what we're gonna work on next. This is a one ounce fine silver turtle round, 2015. A really, really cool round. And we're gonna make this into a size eight ring. Who's ready? Let's do it. First, I gotta get it out of here. It is pretty cool. And for everybody who doesn't know, there is an October clearance sale going on at my website all month long. Uh, this was 50% off. It's usually $300. They got it for $150. There's a lot of stuff that's 50% off. So if you want to get a coin ring made by me, now's a good time to do it. You can tap on the gold chain down here or the link in my profile to shop. And uh, let's get going. Really, really nice silver coin. We're going to punch a hole in it. Let's go. Well, if anybody had, oh, you know what I'm going to do? a little buffer so usually I use paper towel for this but I'll just use some some cardboard paper here put it underneath I'll put a little on top It's a pretty cool little round.
right, this is a pretty thick round, so it's probably going to take quite a bit of pounding to get through here. Y'all make sure to tap the screen while I hammer on this, okay? Let's go. Beautiful. It's a really nice center punch there. And they want a keychain mat out of this, so we will set that aside. <clears throat> Thank you for the likes. We hit 1,100. Hey, yeah. And again, y'all check out the sale. 50% off tons of stuff at corneringmaker.com all October long. It's the best sale I'm going to have all year, and it's the most stuff I'm going to mark down all year. So make sure to take advantage of that sale. Really, really pretty. If you look on the inside here, it looks a little rough. It's definitely a little sharp. We're going to use our deburring tool to clean that up real quick. And I'm going to change my deburring tool blade. So we were talking about it quite a bit on my last live. Got it in my head. Now we're going to change it out. It's pretty easy to change. Just pull down on this thing. Pull out your old blade. I'm going to change this one now. Pull out your old blade. Pull it down, pop your new one in there. Holds on nice and tight. This should cut really, really well. 2,000 likes. Heck yeah. Well, this is going to be interesting because it's been a while since I've made a coin this big into a size 8. So we're really going to have to shrink this down quite a bit. Should be pretty interesting. What's going on? Yeah, it's a nice round. It's pretty. Honestly thought these would be a little more popular. I've only ever sold one of them. So this would be the second one I've ever made. I want to make sure we get that inside edge nice and cleaned up, nice and smooth. Save the turtles. <laughs> no, I punch a hole in them. Plow! Uh, no, it's not illegal. Uh, it's very similar to a penny smashing machine you might find at SeaWorld, Six Flags, amusement parks, uh, museums. As long as you aren't fraudulently altering the currency or counterfeiting currency, uh, you're good. So you can totally make jewelry out of coins. Uh, it's actually a pretty old practice, and there's thousands of people across the world who do this every day. I just happen to do it streaming live on the internet.
And we got that looking nice and smooth. No, it's not illegal. I'm going to go ahead and dump this silver so I don't knock it over. It's our fine silver collection. How pretty. Nice. All right, guys. Uh, if you've never seen me before, I'm Coin Ring Maker from CoinRingMaker.com. You can take a screenshot of that and save my website for later. I make all types of coins into rings, and this October we got 50% off almost everything I make. You can shop through the link on my profile or the gold chain at the bottom of the screen. Almost all of my orders are made here live on TikTok, and I actually got this order on my last live earlier today. So I'm pretty excited to get to work on it. Now if anybody has any questions while I work on this, feel free to put them in the chat. If you enjoy my live, make sure to tap the screen and give me a follow. I think that's about everything. Let's get to work. So, to soften this silver up a little bit, we're going to anneal it. So, you got my handy torch here. And I'm just going to kind of watch for this flame to turn kind of an orange color. Yeah, on my website, coinringmaker.com, just type that into your, uh, your browser. At the very top, there's a recommended tool list button. And on there, you can see a bunch of different tools I use and where to get them. And some videos on how to use them. All right, see that orange flame? That means it's hot enough. What coins can be made into size 10? Um... But pretty much anything I work on, I can do a size 10. Quarters, half dollars, dollars, one ounce rounds like this. Uh, pretty much anything, except for uh, the Mercury Dime. I can't do that one at a size 10, but pretty much anything else. A size 15, I can't do in quarters. The max size for quarters is a 13. So I could do half dollars, dollars, one ounce rounds, Anything bigger than a quarter, I could do a size 15. Dry this off real quick. We got 900 people in here. If everybody tapped the screen three times, we'd get like 3,000 more likes. That'd be pretty sweet. Tap that screen, y'all. All right, we're going to give this a nice first fold now. To do that, we're going to use the one-ton Arbor Press. Let me get this set up over here real quick. My phone's a little squirmy because it's plugged in. So we'll try and see if we can get that fixed. There we go. And for the first fold, I like to use a doming block. That's this thing. What are you doing besides defacing money? Making jewelry, bro. Filling orders. Making stuff people paid for. That's what I'm doing. Hey, we got that 6,000 likes. Thank you guys very much. You're the best. Let's see if we can get in a little closer to the action for you. I'm going to give that a nice fold. Well, because we're making a ring out of it. And uh, rings need a place for your finger to go. Well, that went all kinds of sideways on me. You may have to use something else. Get 
get that initial fold so it'll fit in there. This one is fine silver. I do have some sterling silver on the website now though. As well as 90%. This thing does not like my doming block. So we're just gonna use the we're just gonna use the folding die. Uh, he's been showing finished products. I've got a uh, a Walking Liberty half dollar on today. I can show you that. And again, 50% off a ton of stuff all October long. Uh, shop link is on my profile. Why use fine silver or sterling silver? Uh, different designs come with uh, different metal content. I, I really just like to pick uh, coins and rounds that have neat designs on them that I think would make pretty rings. Now, I wish I could make the coins myself, but I haven't gotten that far yet. Uh, it's the same price whether I work on your coin or my coin, but a bunch of stuff is 50% off right now. And I do have quite a few Morgan dollars on hand. Have I ever messed up a coin? Yes. Uh, I've got a couple of them in my reminder drawer over here. So usually what happens is the ring will split like this when you're stretching it. What's printing? So over here, we've got one of these. This is a little ring stand. And this is... One of these, it's a cinder, cinder punch guide for coin rings. Uh, it's a little cheaper if I work on your gold coin ring. So with gold, I usually charge uh, three times the price of the coin. If it's your gold coin ring, I will charge two times the price of the coin. Uh, 1982 half dollar, I might have that. Looking through my half dollars for you real quick. Let me double check. How do you keep it from breaking? Um, you have to really pay attention to this edge right here. It's called the cut edge. You want to make sure that is as smooth as possible the whole time, uh, as well as keep your metal soft. So you want to anneal often. Uh, if there's any scratches or splits on that cut edge, that is where it will start to uh, split and snap. Uh, Susan B. Anthony's ringable. Yes, I actually just finished one, uh, but it's it's sitting in some polish right now, so I will show you that in just a second. But Susan B. Anthony's are on the website, and they're half off right now. And I've got 90s and 70s. I'm not seeing anything in the 80s. I'm sorry for the interruption. I'm just looking for a half dollar real quick. Yeah, these are all 70s. There we go. 1982. So if you want it, I got it, bud. Keep that set aside for you. Uh, no, most most of the time uh, it doesn't really matter uh, what mint made it, uh, unless it's San Francisco. Uh, San Francisco makes most of the kind of fancier collector stuff, so proofs and and other kinds of uh, fancier coins, stuff that's not really meant for circulation. 
is usually made at San Francisco. So this is a one ounce fine silver round. These are usually $300 uh, right now. These are on sale for half off, so 150. How wide would a Morgan size 15 quarter be? Just a little bit thinner than this, because as we stretch it, the band will get a little thinner. See if I can get a, a read on there for you. <laughs> uh, looks like about 15 millimeters. So what I do is I make coins into rings. Uh, we're about halfway done with the one we're working on right now. Got a turtle on it. It's pretty cool. Hello from the Philippines. Hello from Texas. Uh, if anybody else has any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. A bunch of stuff is 50% off for the October clearance sale. You can shop through the link on my profile or the gold chain down here, or just visit coinringmaker.com. It's my username. Super easy to remember. Coin Ring Maker. Don't forget it. Alright, we're going to kneel this one more time. Yeah, I could work on that. Uh, let me see here. $50 Buffalo Gold Coin. Yeah, I'll give you a follow. Uh, if you follow me back, we can message about that and get that worked out. I make silver quarter rings using a heavy spoon. Nice. I like silver quarter rings. I have a fat finger. How big would you go? The biggest I've made is a size 20. But I could probably go a little bigger than that. I'm not going to lie. Will the turtle show? Um, kind of. I'll, I'll show you what I mean here in just a second. Uh, usually I finish an order within one to two days of getting it. And my shipping's pretty quick. You usually get it within five days. So about a week turnaround time from when you order to when you get your ring. Not too bad. You'll check this out. This is this is real satisfying stuff right here. We'll get in real close. This is called quenching. Nice. Yeah, I can ship to South Africa. I can ship all over the world. It might take a little longer to get to you uh, than a week if you're in South Africa, though. Uh, that seven day delivery is more for uh, intercontinental United States Whoa. might need a little bigger cone Make sure we got that nice and level in there. So somebody asked if uh, the turtle is going to be visible when it's finished and you can see his head and his arms on the front there and on the back you get to see his back legs and his tail 
but it's like kind of all around the ring. So if you look at just one part, it, you can't really tell, but if you kind of roll it around, you can see what's up. Uh, I have uh, two types of Canadian coins. I have one fine silver Canadian maple, and I have some uh, 100 year old uh, copper pennies, which make really, really pretty rings. Those are gonna be under uh, fine copper on the website. They're really, really nice. Unfortunately, I don't have one I can show you at the moment, but they're very pretty. Uh. But those are the only two Canadian coins that I'm currently working on. Have I done any Mexican coins? I've done fine silver uh, Libertads. I've got, I think, three different years on those on hand. I think it's like 83, 84, and 85. But those are the only uh, Mexican coins I've worked on so far. They're pretty cool though. I really like the bubbles. All right, so that's pretty much folded all the way there. It's looking pretty good. And since we're making this a size eight, it should be sitting around like a size, yeah, like a size 12 right now. But this other end is like way flared out. So we're just gonna jump right into reducing this and making it smaller and more ring shaped. I'm gonna kneel it one more time and then we'll wrap some tape around it and then send it through what's called a Swedish wrap die. And it's gonna make it smaller. going very well it's going good Try and get a little clearer shot when I quench it this time. It's hard for it to stay in focus. And we'll see if we can get it to focus first. A little bit. That's not terrible. All right. Is it a hard process to get the right shape? Uh, do you break it if you put too much pressure? Yeah. Uh, uh, during stretching, you can split it like this. We'll split right across if this cut edge isn't perfectly smooth. Uh, luckily with this one, I don't have to stretch it anymore. So that's not really a problem with this one. We're just gonna make it smaller. Make it a nice size eight. But yeah, you you can totally you can totally break it if you aren't paying attention. Start skipping steps. That's one reason why I anneal it. That's what we just did. We heated it up and uh, quenched it. That softens the metal, makes it more pliable and less brittle. So this is called blue monster tape. Uh, it's really really tough plumbing tape 
I like to wrap this around my rings and this helps uh, keep that detail on there as we send it through the, the Swedish wrap die. But you don't want to have a lot of metal on metal contact. That's how you lose details. I'm going to put a little buffer, a little barrier around it, protect it. Nice. I'm going to hop back over to the one ton arbor press and try and find a Swedish wrap die this will fit in. It's a big coin, so we're going to need a good sized die. I think that'll fit in there. As long as it sits inside the die, it should work. So if it was it was over the top lip there that'd be a no-go but it looks like that one's gonna work and i got a pusher I'm gonna put on top that's gonna push it down and the way these dies work is they're much wider on the top and skinnier on the bottom so as we push it down it's going to kind of shrink that ring Pretty good, how are you doing? See, I'm making coin rings, so I can't complain. I'm happy. Now we got that a uh, little bit more of a ring shape, and it's definitely smaller. But since we reshaped it so much, we're gonna wanna take this off and anneal it once more. You want to keep that silver nice and soft as you're you're reshaping it. Now, this tape is really good, but it's also kind of strong. It's a little bit of a pain in the butt to remove. <laughs> we'll get it off of there one way or another. go so you can see it's starting to get more of a ring shape and as we push it down it's gonna get smaller and smaller nice yeah I like working with silver it's it's pretty fun I used to be really scared of it. But I've definitely gotten more comfortable. just drying it off real quick uh, my favorite coin for making rings is the Morgan dollar I think it looks really cool as a ring Yeah, uh, it's really tough Teflon. It's 
called Blue Monster. It's about four times as strong as a uh, regular, like, white plumbing tape. Uh, it's just water. It's just plain water from the sink. Nothing fancy. This is a coin ring. So one ounce fine silver round. I'm making into a size eight ring for one of my customers. I got that in a little smaller Swedish wrap there. And got our pusher. Oh yeah, we got that nice and small now. Let's check our ring size, see what we're sitting at. Now it's about a size nine on the skinny side. We can push it a little bit more, put it in the next smaller die. Should be getting pretty close. Yeah. So the thinner side's right at a size eight, while the wider side is still the wider side. So what I'm gonna do is flip this over in the reduction die now and reduce this reeded edge. nice and evened up making a ring out of a coin that's kind of what I do it's still a little wider on one side than the other I'm gonna reduce it a little bit more At this point, I like to just make little bitty changes. Nothing too drastic. So we don't over reduce it. We'll go ahead and take this tape off and take a look at our ring so far. Yeah, I can ship to Europe. I can ship worldwide, man. So you see there's his head, and his arm, a little butt, a little turtle tail. Inside details looking really sharp. Well, there is a little bit of a lip on this side. You can see it better through here. See that lip right there? I'm gonna go ahead and cut that away because it's not super comfortable. Is this legal since technically you're destroying currency? As long as I'm not fraudulently altering it. Uh, an example of that would be like taking a penny and making it look like a dime and trying to spend it. Or counterfeiting. Uh, it's totally legal. You can totally make jewelry out of coins. Uh, there's no law against it. 
yeah, I can make a size 13 in quarters, half dollars, dollars, one ounce rounds, pretty much everything. Illegal to make a ring into a coin. <laughs> well, they certainly don't want you making your own coins. That's true. It was pretty funny. Last month I got a letter from the uh, the director of the U.S. Mint. My wife was freaking out. She was like, oh no, they finally caught you. You're going to jail. And I opened it up and it was like a thank you letter for being a customer. I thought that was pretty funny. Thanks, guys. I, I'm glad you're enjoying it. I know this isn't the most exciting part, but we really need to make sure we get that lip cleaned off so this ring will be nice and comfortable. Do I do Celtic rings? I wish. Uh, I haven't found any uh, really cool Celtic coins to work on yet. I'd definitely be down for it, though. Mostly I work on U.S. currency. Uh, this year I kind of dove into uh, silver rounds. That's what this is. Make an old coin and make it de de defined. Is that a cork or coin? Is it coin? How long does it take from start to finish? Usually about an hour or two. And I've got a whole bunch of stuff 50% off on the website. If you want to get you one, link is on my TikTok profile. You can also tap the gold chain at the bottom of the screen. Yeah. It's not a coin, but it's pretty cool. Incorporate a coin with Celtic. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to find one. Uh, no, I don't do any uh, patina. I really like my rings to be uh, as shiny as possible. So I just leave them with the bare metal. Uh, I have done patina in the past. It the It's just really stinky and messy. Uh, so I just kind of leave that to others. And I, I prefer, I don't know, it's like a, a personal choice to just kind of leave everything nice and shiny. It's a design decision. Sterling silver, where's the best place to sell it? Uh, probably eBay. That would be my best guess. So now we got that cleaned up. Uh, how do I measure the size? With this tool right here, this is called a mandrel. And it's got all these ring sizes on here. Now you can just slip the ring on and figure out what size it is. This one's supposed to be a size eight. It's really close. 
It looks like I'm gonna have to stretch it out just a little bit. And I also want to even up this side with this side. I'm gonna use what's called a ring straightener on this now, which is kind of a cone that I'm gonna push into this side to expand it out to even those up. So let me get that set up over here. I really like these tools because this, I mean, that's not a bad looking ring, but I really, really want it to be even on both sides. So we're just gonna, we're gonna fix that real quick. Uh, oh, to get your ring size. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, you can uh, find something like this at a craft store, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, stuff like that. You can also visit a jewelry store and they can usually size you there for free. Uh, I don't recommend any like online stuff where you like get a piece of paper or a string and try and measure. I would try and actually uh, get an accurate ring size. That way your ring will be nice and comfortable. Uh, you can order through the website link on my profile or the gold chain down here by the chat. Or you can go to buycoinrings.com. And order there. A little seat for it. Find the proper cone. If I send you an Australian coin, will that work? Yeah. Um, if you want to send me a coin to work on, I have a button on my TikTok profile. So you have to go to my profile. There's a button there that says get a quote. Uh, just tell me as much as you can about the coin you want me to work on and the ring size you need, and I can get a quote for you through there. You got it getting a lot more even. See how nice that looks? It looks so much better. Uh, do I ever break coins? Absolutely. Uh, the first two years I broke a whole bunch of coins because I refused to anneal so I thought I was better than fire and now I use fire all the time and I don't break stuff as often so there's a there's a lesson in being hard-headed right there don't don't be <laughs> you waste a bunch of time And materials. It was dumb. I was dumb. But I, I've definitely learned from it. Yeah, no problem. Uh, if anybody else has any questions, feel free to pop them in the chat. Uh, these tools are really cool, but your, uh, your coins tend to get stuck on them. So... Looks like I'm going to have to whack... Knock it off of here somehow. Have to get a little inventive. So you got it in a seat upside down. I'm gonna bring it right over the edge of that seat and push it just a little. Nope. Tricky bugger. Show sure, now that you finished this one. Do you polish it? Yes. Uh, but I gotta get the right ring size and the right shape before I polish. I need two hands to do this. Hey, usually I can put this in one of these and knock it out, but it's not wanting to it's not wanting to quite work with me on that level. So we're gonna try and... Put it right on the edge there. No, that doesn't wanna work either. Do, do, do. Sorry about this, I'm scrambling. 
And it doesn't. It's on there really good. Hmm. <laughs> Tricky situation here. I'm honestly a little embarrassed uh, about this. <laughs> so bear with me. We'll get it figured out. Man. Just want to get something underneath it. Not quite tricky situation. I also don't want to hit my hand. Man, heat it up. No, it'll melt this plastic. Wrap it in tape, then push it through. It's it's just stuck on this cone, man. It's like it's grabbed onto it. So there's a little fraction of it that's past the coin. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to lay this flat, then I'm going to hit it on the side. Get off. That's rough, man. Bugger. What different options with rings? Uh, I have lots of different types of coins, quarters, half dollars, dollars, uh, one ounce silver rounds, uh, copper rounds. You can see everything on my website or by tapping the gold chain at the bottom of the screen. So... What to do? Oh, um, that's about the center punch. So for this one, this is the center punch I punched out of the coin. Uh, you can add that on. You can get it as a keychain, a necklace, or a pin. What a freaking problem. Hold the edge of the doming block. Hit the narrow point on the cone. I really don't want to use anything metal on this because it's fine silver, so it's really soft. So whatever I use is going to have to be plastic. Hmm. What I need to do is find something that can get contact on both sides of the ring that I can hit. What I used to do was get pliers and then hit it, but that will mess up the ring. I need, like, plastic pliers. <laughs> oh, man. What a mess. The tape would make a little bigger hole than the die hole. Wrap pliers and Teflon. Okay. Okay. See if it'll get wide enough. Channel locks. Hmm. I don't know if I have any of those. I 
y'all just recommended the best. I appreciate it. Like I said, usually I can get these off of here pretty easy. This one is just snug as a bug in a rug on there. Yeah, I don't have any channel locks. I'm going to finish taping this up. And we'll see if that will work. Drop it on the floor. Not, not a terrible recommendation. That's not quite working. All right, I'm gonna drop it on the rug. It's still holding strong. God, what a pain in the butt. <laughs> So dumb. I bet a pipe wrench. That thing is just hanging on, guys. <laughs> Shoot. Well, I might have to take a break. Yeah, I wish the press would work. Hot water. It's not a terrible idea. Put a little heat on it. I'm afraid it'll mess up the cone. I like this tool. It's tricky. Tricky, tricky situation. Small socket or extension. Drive it back. Put it in the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> Get the frig off of there, go. Get out. Well, you guys got to see me totally, epically uh, embarrassed today. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying the live, because I'm not. Let's see if we can do something like this. Cut a section out of one of the center punch plastic so you can side it through three sides. Well, the problem is this side is wider than this side. I need it to catch just on this edge of the coin. Oil? That's not a terrible idea. I might just have to throw some WD-40 on this thing. Oh, 
What a pain in the butt. Five cent pliers. Hmm. So I can't use anything that's metal because metal is going to mess up the ring. It's very soft. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to call it here, guys. Uh, try and figure this out. I'm going to take a second, sit down, think on it. And uh, I might hop back on later today. If you haven't followed me yet, go ahead and give me a follow. Uh, check out the sale, 50% off uh, cornringmaker.com all October long. Y'all have a great day. <laughs> Bye.